What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads presented by DodgerBlue.com. My name is Jeff Spiegel, and this is the home of the 2020 World Series champion, Los Angeles Dodgers. And today, I want to take a look forward a little bit and talk about a couple prospect rankings the MLB Pipeline has put out in the last couple of days because I think it has some interesting implications for the 2021 Dodgers and beyond. As we know, if you're looking at the Dodger roster right now, there are two major question marks on the offensive side of the ball. That is who plays second base and who plays third base. Justin Turner still likely to be re-signed by, by all accounts. Second base may be a job that they're holding for Gavin Lux. The reason, though, that I find these two positions most interesting is because MLB Pipeline has been putting out their top 10 prospects at each position. They haven't gotten all the way through the list, but the last couple of days have been second base and third base. And interestingly enough, in both of these positions, the Dodgers have someone of note. At second base, they have Michael Bush, who is part of their 2019 draft class. They have him rate as the fifth best second base prospect in all of baseball. And then over at third base, they've got Cody Hosey, who is rated the number eight third base prospect in all of baseball. Now, the thing is, neither of these guys are expected to contribute in 2021. Both of them have an ETA of 2022, according to MLB Pipeline. Both of them first round picks in the 2019 draft. So what does this have to do with anything this year, right? Might be the question. The answer is, this might explain why the Dodgers and Justin Turner have not yet agreed to a deal. I think the Dodgers, by all accounts, have been holding strong at a two-year deal. Potentially, we've mentioned maybe you throw in a third-year team option, but not wanting to go beyond that. And the reason is because the Dodgers do have some quality players coming up through the ranks, and they're not going to want to sign a guy like Justin Turner to a long-term deal that then blocks Cody Hosey or even Michael Bush from having a chance to play somewhere. So again, neither of these guys are somebody who are going to play in 2021, but I believe they will have an impact in the sense that it seems like the Dodgers are planning ahead. It seems like the Dodgers are making sure that whether it's Lux, whether it's Bush, whether it's Hosey, the Dodgers do have opportunities for these guys to play without locking themselves into a long-term contract with a guy like Justin Turner. Now, if you had the opportunity to go get Eugenio Suarez on a team-friendly four- or five-year deal, Nolan Arenado, somebody like that, those are the types of players that you make an exception for. But Justin Turner, who's getting up there in age, that could be part of the problem. So I don't know. Of Again, of note, 2019 draft, the top two picks for the Dodgers, Hosey and Bush, both developing really well, both top eight among their position as far as prospects go. That's good news for the Dodgers. A couple guys that they should expect to see in the major leagues. Maybe the tail end of 2021 if there are some injuries, but definitely in 2022 contributing there. And again, what is the impact? It might be having an impact on the Dodgers' plans and and. Part of the reason we haven't seen them giving out big contracts or long contracts to players is a couple of these prospects coming up. One other note on MLB Pipeline's list so far, um, they did have a catcher make the list as well. Caber Ruiz is one of the top 10 catchers. He comes in as the number five catcher, and he's a guy we already saw make his debut last year. So if not for Will Smith, he would probably be in the mix this year, but his ETA is listed as 2021. So, so a bright future. The Dodger system is not as deep as it used to be. It maybe doesn't have one of those top Five to ten guys now that Gavin Lux, Dustin May, etc. have graduated. But Hosey, Bush, Ruiz, Josiah Gray, there are some young, exciting names to come from there. So let us know what you think below. I mean, should the Dodgers be protecting some room for Cody Hosey and Michael Bush? Or should they go all in on 2021 and worry about the future later? Let us know below uh, in the comments. As always, please subscribe. Please ring the notification bell. We're hoping for some breaking news this week if we're a Dodger fan, whether it's a Turner signing or a trade or something. So make sure you're subscribed and got the notifications on here so you get that as soon as it comes. Again, we appreciate you watching. As always, my name is Jeff Spiegel, and this has been Dodger Heads. As always, Vin Scully, take us home. The best team holding a trophy high in the air. The Los Angeles Dodgers, champions of the baseball world.